if you've gone through depression, substance uh, misuse issues, or any mental health related conditions, and you've gone through sessions, uh, through therapy or physiotherapy, nutrition, anything that has happened in the past to help improve your well-being, now this may actually help you in this current moment. The reason why I say this is because looking back, the classes that I attended and I committed to for a year to learn how to manage my condition is what is, ha is helping me mentally and physically to uh, persevere through this challenge. I don't know what this one is going to be called. You can give me ideas. I'll put a heading there. It'll be random. And then I'll just be talking about the experiences that I'm going through and hopefully it'll give you some hope, optimism and faith. Today I just wanted to talk about an experience that I had earlier on today while I was um, completing hot water inhalation with Vix. This has been an ongoing new reoccurring theme. For the past, I'd say I'm on day 11th, I've had the second impact of um, a viral infection which has come as um, uh, severe or it felt severe and still feels very present at the moment. Today is the first day I can say that I'm able to um, feel more alert within myself. And what I'm feeling at the moment is chest pressure, uh, chest tightness. It's not very, um, it's a little bit milder than it was, the chest tightness, but the pressure is still there. So chronic pain, chronic fatigue, muscle skeletal pain, uh, the inflammation, sensory overload. And these are all experiences that I've been experiencing as well, although I wasn't really connected to them at first because I was confused about um, whether it's just a viral infection that's causing this, but it was my fibromyalgia symptoms as well, which um, it was impacting me and still impact me at the moment. I have a flare up. Dressed in this because I'm trying to keep very warm, any minor, uh, exposure to the cold like when I'm walking around just aggravates it more. Second wave, you might have seen my first video. The second, yeah, where, where I talked about um, presenting with coronavirus symptoms. So what I have now is um, pneumonia type symptoms, a viral infection, and it also affects um, my throat. Today is the first day where I feel like uh, my throat is clear. The first wave it, the breathlessness was in my chest so it seemed like it moved up to to my throat and so as I was inhaling um, this steaming uh, hot steaming session or water I can't speak today for some reason so forgive me um, completing like the inhalation just to ease the symptoms that I've been feeling I started laughing because I had a flashback of the classes that I attended in that session I was learning about how to find um, not how to find, but coping mechanisms of uh, pacing and managing my uh, chronic pain condition as well as chronic fatigue. So, um, I had reached a point where I almost felt like what is the point of having to live every day with chronic pain. So I decided to really completely slow my, my lifestyle just in order to avoid feeling the pain because it was excruciating. Everybody in the group group session were, was giving examples about how they are managing and how they are challenging themselves to do outdoor activities. And at the time, I was fairly new in terms of being diagnosed with my chronic pain condition and also in terms of reaching the level of acceptance uh, of the condition. Uh, so everything was still raw and very f uh, fresh for me. And the psychologist ch uh, challenged me during that session. And I can't remember his exact words, but he challenged me in a way to think about still continuing with my life and to learn how to live with the pain. So the reason why I was laughing hysterically is that everything that I've learned from the one year program that I attended is what is helping me to manage uh, the viral infection that I've had was well, second time around, which the second time was unexpected because I thought I was on the road to recovery and I was feeling very well. But it helped me uh, prepare because I was thinking, oh, subliminally, you are trained into learning how to adjust to a new lifestyle. We were equipped to learn how to be in survival mode in terms of 
experience when you experience chronic pain chronic fatigue that you feel ill you can't get up you have a survival kit with you of everything that you need so all throughout I've been doing that but I wasn't really connecting to that to the skills that I had learned and it was just automatic so I've had everything that I've needed um, from liquids having like a flask with uh, hot water and all the fresh root ingredients that I need easily to access and to drink and then preparing uh, bowls of soup. I was thinking about how I've been preparing my food in la uh, large bunches so not massively large I was uh, making like soups veg putting them in containers and then just warming them up in in the microwave I had everything ready and it was right next to me my medication uh, fluids um, that I needed to drink like in a flask so that when I was feeling tired I wouldn't have to get up and go walk back and forth but I was also forcing myself to walk so that I kept uh, physically active and then in the moments when um, I had enough strength that I was walking and then also I'm um, doing some yoga and stretching today I feel a little bit more tired but what I tend to do is just gauge to see when I have a little bit more energy then I'll do a little bit of something to keep myself still um, physically active because I also feel like this is the way that uh, I'll help to boost my immune system and to help fight what's going on at the moment and I've had this mentality that I'm battling something and I, I am going to be in battle mode um, regardless so I, I'll be quite honest with you it's the most challenging experience I thought going through chronic pain uh, musculoskeletal widespread pain was going to be challenged it was a challenge enough and this is not the first time I'm having chronic and severe it's not the first time I'm having to battle through something my um, fibromyalgia was caused as a result of um, a viral bacteria infection in my stomach so uh, I've been focusing on gut health and clearing my gut for um, over a year or two um, and trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle and I had to eliminate a lot of things which weren't helping me and now this links to the current uh, viral infection as well that everything that I've been doing um, I always buy things like fresh ginger, fresh onions, lemons, um, turmeric, and vinegar. Okay, so I'd stopped buying vinegar for a while, but something made me think viral infection, buy vinegar, top up. And these are all the things I always make sure I have. And the reason why I'm highlighting this is that some of these ingredients, the fresh root based ingredients, help to uh, fight off colds and also to boost your immune system and they're good to have around to make things that are fresh vegetables uh, things um, vegetables and fruits that have already got the supplements or the things that will help uh, boost your immune system and to help fight off colds so just today it just dawned on me that all of these things that I was doing without even thinking about it and I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting a lot more is that I have learned most of the things from my fibromyalgia group in the beginning I took them for granted because I was a person who was like um, in the caught up in the hustle and bustle and f living the fast-paced life and my condition forced me to slow down and mentally and physically it's been challenging me but the only thing I'm thankful for which I'll go back again to is everything that I've learned up to date so whether it's been therapy on a one-to-one -one, talking about any uh, experiences challenging experiences that I've had in life physiotherapy um, advice on how to manage uh, chronic pain and just being in group sessions so why I'm bringing this up is that at this at this time you may feel like you're not well equipped but if you have been in groups and you've learned skills these are the skills that are going to help you so groups relating to well-being these are the skills that you still have and they're going to equip you to help you through this period especially um, coping not only with uh, managing health but also coping with um, living in social isolation or physical distancing being at home for the majority of time don't think that you don't you're not you, you're not well equipped to manage um, 
look at your history of what you've learned if you've ever received any documentation or if you've kept in contact with other people who are in, in the groups do try and reach out to them and form maybe some form of network to try and um, help you through this period or connect with communities online as well to help you to keep persevering through i still have this mechanism where as a result of being in that group i have this mechanism to cope okay so i'm very thankful for that and i believe that anybody who's gone through a chronic or has a chronic pain condition or has gone through a chronic illness might relate to this because you learn to adapt and have coping mechanisms of survival mode that help you to go through specific challenges or even if you've gone to like group therapy sessions or had one-to-one -one sessions or did anything that's related to like your well-being to maintain your well-being these are the things I believe that if you've experienced them they will help and they will equip you now okay so expect nutrition eating healthier foods and being mindful for, to that because now it's key to uh, maintain your overall well-being in terms of having the feel-good type foods for your nutrition and topping up on natural supplements in food some of these things will help to uh, fight off colds or keep off colds whichever way you may put it and some of them will help to boost your immune system so I've been doing additional research on what helps uh, the fitness or the well-being factor you know maintaining exercise it will help with your mental and physical well-being and because this thing whatever it is it I feel like it's been testing me um, it's been pushing me to see how far I, I can go mentally and physically but thankfully because of the therapy sessions that i attended in my i was gonna say in my past life <laughs> but i think you know what i mean but because of the therapy sessions that i took when i was like younger up to who knows how long but i just did that because i believe that like talking um talking therapy are a good, a good natural cures rather than taking medication that's my path not everybody it doesn't have to apply to everybody so it's it helped me because I'm an existentialist I always believe in talking in order to heal the soul in order to have um, a good mental well-being mental health well-being and I've also as a result of having um, fibromyalgia because I was informed that it's a viral infection uh, could have been caused by a viral infection bacteria in my stomach i've been focusing with support on clear um clearing my gut so that i can find some form of balance and that's been helping um through the past couple of years so these are all um vices i can say um it almost feels like a kit a survival kit that is good to have and you may relate to it as well that when push comes to shove in this current experience that we are going through we're going to be tested um, in very different formats and um, some of us more than others but we're also being aside from health we're also being tested in other ways such as financial security uh, loss of uh, jobs for for other people you might be impacted or through the experience of other people going through other challenges as well um, so the past history of what you've had uh, in terms of being part of a community being part of a group don't feel like because that's been taken away from you that it's all gone it will be somewhere here okay you would have learned some form of coping mechanisms that will help you one day at a time to keep fighting through whatever challenge you're experiencing at the moment and this is the experience that i've been going through because when i felt the attacks on my chest and the overwhelming congestion um i thought like oh my goodness this is going to become very you know it could become very severe oh my goodness when i was like breathless but throughout what i've maintained is i've known because of my fibromyalgia to just remain calm because if i don't remain calm then that means that i'll feel overwhelmed um and it could cause me to panic and it won't help with like my breathing um as well especially when i was going through those experiences so fortunately i have managed to maintain that the calmness 
and to also to be optimistic to have faith hope and believe that I'm going to be well although the battle is not easy and when you're in it it feels like this is never going to end what I want to mention today is that you do eventually cross over to a point where you are able to come through it so just keep your mind focused on that it will soon pass it will soon pass and find mechanisms with the help of uh, health professionals to help you in ma managing through the current the current um, pandemic that we're going through that's if you have access to uh, those resources and there are other numerous resources online as well YouTube is my second go-to place and other community groups online um, as well so that's all I wanted to share I don't think I've forgotten anything else I think oh yes before I forget <laughs> I want to thank the health professionals who have helped me to date and the the health professionals that I want to recognize are the Royal Hospital Integrated Medical Care team who helped me uh, with coping with my fibromyalgia especially my con my condition my symptoms my ex my emotional experience my physical experience you are the people that have helped me to be prepared for what is happening now to keep a balanced uh, outlook and to also have the spirit that I can um, overcome I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring I'm only focusing on one day at a time and that's all I can advise you as well is that focus on one day at a time in doing what you believe is going to be uh, for your well-being good for your well-being in the best way that in the best way that you can I might have been like all over the place because I'm just coming to <laughs> but the message here was just about chronic illness and I think that that's what it is chronic illness and being prepared for um, certain events in life which I didn't even think or connect with that it would help me today to manage my um, chronic illness and beyond managing chronic illnesses it's, the, it's about well-being as well that if you've had an experience of looking after your well-being through groups or individually and maintaining nutrition continue those methods that you have because this is what will help you to uh, maintain your mental health phys um, your mental your physical health your overall well-being and also things that will help you to keep your immune system um, boosted and thank you to all the current uh, pre-existing frontline workers health heroes that's doing the ultimate base best to ensure that we receive the necessities that we need whether it be food packages health that is uh, greatly appreciated so I'll leave it for uh, here for now and I hope in what I've mentioned or talked about there's something that you've connected with and if it has resonated with you do uh, leave a comment below remember to hit hit that subscribe button I believe it's above it could be below I think it is below <laughs> and share out to somebody or people you know who might value what I've talked about today so um, adios came to mind I'll say adios ciao bye for now and I look forward to connecting with you on the next vlog adios ciao bye for now <laughs>